Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor WordPress plugin tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We made this little gallery the other day. Today we're going to make a couple of flip boxes. Really easy to do with Elementor. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site and I see it quite often. So let's get started. I've got another page here without it on it. So I'm going to hit the edit with Elementor button. Elementor comes with two flavors, a free version and a pro version. We've done a lot of videos with the free version. Today we're actually using the pro version. Now we've enabled it. Let's go down. Here's some of the basic free ones. Of course you get all the free ones with the pro one too. But today we're going to be using a little flip box right here. So let's go down to where we want to work. And I'm just going to drag, drag the flip box over here, left click, hold it down, let it go there. As you can see it's popped it in there already. What I'm going to do is make this into three columns. So I'm going to right click on the little dark column thing there, add new column, and one more time, add new column. Obviously you can make as many or as few as you want. And it's thrown it in there and actually looks quite good as it is. So let's go about styling it the way we want it. Just click on the module icon. And we're presented with the front side here, content. And you can have an icon or you can have an image if you prefer. I'll stick with the icon. Let's edit it. Hit the icon library. And the Pro comes with Font Awesome, which has got a huge amount of icons. And they're really good icons. That I've used them a lot with the Bootstrap and also imported them into WordPress sites. And just put in whichever icon you choose. Let's insert that one in there. Put a heading in. And obviously your contents right here. If you want to add more, just add more. I'm going to just copy what they've got here and add it onto the end. As you can see, you're going to add as much as or as little as you want. Now, for the background, you can have a color or you can have a gradient. Let's go with a gradient. I'm just going to add a blue up there and leave the pink that's in the bottom there. And that's absolutely fine for me. Now let's move on to the back, which is the back half of the flip box. Here it is. I'll leave that as blue for the time being. And again, you just put in what you want. And again, if you want more text in there, just put it in. I haven't got any. So I'll just double it up like that. Then of course you've got your button and you can say buy now or whatever it is that's pertinent to what whatever your flip box is saying and you just put your link in here obviously where you want it to go if you're linking to an external page hit the settings and you can open it in a new window and you can add a no follow to it as well if you don't want it to be crawled so that's pretty much it if we go down to settings you can set a height of it. If you've got a lot of text on there, you can, or different amounts, you can make them all the same height with that. You can give it a border radius. You can change the flip effect. We'll do that in the other slides in a minute, simply. And the direction that it wants to go. And 3D depth. Let's put that on and see what happens. Oh, I see. Sort of giving it a bit of a curve there. I'm going to leave mine as standard. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just hit the update button. Now let's just clone this, bring it next door and do a different one. Hit the little module box right there, right click, duplicate and just pull either one over because they're both the same. Now we're on the front here Let's use an image this time. Just click on there. 
put that wave image in there why not maybe too dark and you've got a little image added to it and let's just use a straight color this time and take a bit of that text away because it's too tall there we go and on the back side We'll just change the background color. Put a little image in there. There we go, and we got that image in the background of that one. Just clone this one again. Drag it over to the third column. I'm gonna leave that one pretty much as it is. I'm just gonna change the gradient background I'm going to change this from linear to circular or radial there we are it just gives it a little different look uh, don't want an image in there trash that and again I'm just going to leave that exactly the same I guess I could put a slightly something different in the background there Again, I don't want to put an image in let's just give it a green color something like that how's that okay now then let's go down to settings here and we'll, we'll make these a little bit different instead of a flip let's have a slide and let's say slide right so that sort of slides in from the right let's go to this one now just change the settings and let's have this one perhaps push in so it pushes that one down and this one will leave exactly like that so I'm fairly happy with that what I'm gonna do is just put a bit of padding on our section so we'll go up to the blue tab right here which is the section go over to advanced going to uncheck this box because I just want to put padding top and bottom and let's say 70 pixels top and 70 pixels bottom update and preview our changes with the little eyeball icon there go down to where we are and there's our little flip boxes great little fe feature really easy to do like I say, I see this a lot on sites. It's very in vogue at the moment, and that's very quick to complete. Like I say, you can download both the free or the pro version from my affiliate link below this video. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please hit like, share, and comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.